Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we had a question on uh, one of our Elementor videos. Somebody was asking how to get some audio to autoplay on the site. And it's pretty easy to do. We've got to do a bit of coding. We did this with the Divi theme recently, but you can do it just as easily with Elementor. So let's get started. If I just preview this page here, when it pops up, don't know if you can hear that, but it's got a little music jingle playing. And that's what we're going to achieve today. So let's get rid of everything I've got here and we'll start from scratch. So I've just got a new page here, nothing on it at the moment. You can do this with the free version as well as the pro version. We're using the HTML module to do this today. First thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to chuck a bit of content on the page as if it was a real page. So I'm just going to load a bit of something from one of the templates I've saved. Let's chuck a service section in. So we've got a few little things on the page there. This little audio player, we really don't want it that visible, but you want to give your people that visit an option to be able to turn off the sound because some people really get annoyed if there's auto sound playing. I'm sure it's great for banned websites and stuff, but it can drive you nuts. So it's a good idea to give them an option to turn it off. And that's what we're going to do. Put a floating little play icon down here. So let's grab a module. So let's go down and grab the HTML module. There it is. I'm going to drop it under one of these here and it really doesn't matter which because we're going to use fixed positioning so it won't end up actually being there at all. Okay, there's our code module. I'm going to steal a little bit of code today from W3 Schools and I'll put this link below the video so you can use it if you need to. Here's their example and we can just select all of it. Control C to copy back to our Elementor. Go in the little box there, control V to paste it. And there we are. It's instantly put a little player in there, but there's no actual sound because these are demo sounds right here. So you can upload a sound to your site here. What we'll do, we'll open this. And let's go down to the dashboard and to the media library. And I've got a little wave file here I'm simply going to drag it and drop it up I'm going to click on it once it's uploaded very short little file this copy the URL to clipboard or you can select and copy however you want to do it I'm going to hit the little button it's copied it to the clipboard so now we can go back to our audio and we want to replace their source here where it says horse mp3 being careful not to lock off the inverted commas either side and for the type that's a wave file so we can just put wave in there and it started playing already I'm not going to use an og file today let's just pause that I'm not going to use an og file today if I was doing this on a live site I would convert and upload an og file and if you want to convert your mp3 or wave to an og you can do it here for free on this site and i'll put this below the video as well just drop your mp3 or wave select what you want to convert here and what you want it to convert to and just simply drop your file here and you can download it to whatever settings you've done there okay but for expediency today i'm simply going to delete that line because i don't need it or i could just leave it there it's not going to do anything but to ensure full comp compatibility, they actually recommend you do, do the OG file. Okay, right. Well, we've got our player and it's playing. If we preview this page again now, we'll update. Once I go to this page, it should automatically start playing. There it is. I'm not sure if you can hear that very well, but it, the audio is playing fine. So let's just pause that. Now, if that's all you want to do, you can stop right here. If you want to leave the audio player there for them to turn off and on at their convenience, that's good. But I thought it would be nice to just have it out of the way because if they scroll up and down the page, they might miss that. If we put it in fixed position somewhere, it's going to be there all the time. A little button that they can see and switch off at their convenience. So let's go and do that. I've got to do a little bit of coding for this, but again, it's not very difficult. 
and the CSS code I'll put down below the video and you've got this code here from this site so you should be good to go so let's go into our little module and make it fixed position I'm going to click on the module we're already in there already let's go to our advanced settings go down to positioning and here we can actually choose the position so I'm going to say fixed and it'll disappear and it's playing and I can't turn it off because it's disappeared it's actually under our menu there which is fine so I'm going to use the vertical offset and we'll bring it down there it is right there I guess I want it about halfway down let's just pause that so in to ensure that it stays sort of somewhere halfway up the page whether we're viewing on desktop or mobile I'm going to switch to VH or viewable height and I'm going to put in about 50% or 50 so that's halfway down the page there I'm going to drop it a little bit more purely because that little tags in the way but obviously that won't be there when we've got it on site well let's just drop it down slightly below that that's fine okay okay let's go down and we'll use a bit of custom CSS to do the rest of this today before we can do this we need to actually give it a CSS class so we can target it so at advanced at the top here's our CSS classes I'm going to call mine a ord for automatic audio call yours what you will it wants to be unique and it wants to mean something to you so our little module here has now got a name of AORD or a class of AORD so we can target it. So let's write some CSS in the custom CSS box here. If you're using the free version of Elementor you won't be able to use this custom CSS box but you can use the theme customizer. If we go to the dashboard, if you're using the free version, go down to appearance, customize right at the bottom there you'll find additional CSS and any CSS that you write with a free version you can write in here and it'll act exactly the same way as if we were writing it in our custom CSS box so we can see what's happening on screen I'm going to use the custom CSS box here but like I say for the free version write it in your additional CSS box in your customizer okay so we gave it the class of a ord all class names have to have a dot or a period in front of them, so it's dot a a u d. Open and close some curly brackets, and in between, we can put our code. Now, the first thing I want to do is change the width of it, and for that to work, I need to hide any overflow. Overflow is anything that falls outside of an element. So I'm going to say first line will be overflow colon hidden. And like I say, I'll put this CSS below the video if anybody wants to use it, help yourself. Right, now we can set a fixed width. So I'm gonna say width. And I want it so we've got the arrow but none of the, the timing there. So I'm gonna say width, colon. We'll try 50 and take it back from there. 50 picks, semicolon. That's not work, so we've gotta override the actual style. So to do that, we need to use important. I don't like to use that too often but sometimes you need to and this is one of those cases so it's exclamation mark and the word important and it puts up a little flag because we've used important that's fine and as you can see that shrunk down to 50 all right well let's match the actual background of the element with the background color of the actual button itself so to do that let's go up to background little paintbrush there I'm going to click on the little color block there I'm going to start off black and just pull it up till we can match that gray that they've got there or you can inspect and get the actual HTML and get the hex code if you want to so I'm going to pull this up and as I'm pulling it up you can see the color changing there Let's get it to where it's about the same color that's pretty close right there that's going to do for me okay well let's go back down to our custom CSS still got a bit of that timing popping in at the end there so let's take this down a couple of pixels say 58 48 let's try 48 yeah that's fine but the arrow doesn't seem vertically centered so let's fix the height there it looks like it's a bit higher up the top than it is at the bottom so let's do our own height let's 
try 50 picks first and take it from there. That's a little too short. It has actually worked, so we don't need to do the important on that. Let's try 55 maybe. That's close enough for me. That looks fairly symmetrical. And that's going to be there as we roll up and down the page. It's not going to move from there and on all devices. It should be just below halfway on the screen there. Now, if you have a problem, you're rolling up and down your page and it disappears behind an element or a section, you can add a high Z index to pop it in front. And what a Z index does is say this section has got a Z index of five. And this button has got a Z index of six. The button will always appear on top of this section. If the section has a Z index of five and the button that has a Z index of four, the section will always appear above the button there. So we want our button on top. So you can give it a high Z index if you're having a problem. You don't need to do this unless it's disappearing behind one of your elements there. So Z index and then put a huge number in, whatever number you want. But you can put a crazy huge number in if you want to. I'm going to leave mine just like that. Mine's working fine, but I've only got the one element in there. OK, well, we should be good to go there. Let's update. And now let's preview our changes. Little eyeball icon there. And as you can hear, that audio is playing as soon as we get to the page there. And they've got the option to turn it on and off right here. So let's pause this. So there you go, guys. That's how to add audio autoplay to your Elementor pages. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.